Education Center. Tammy, thanks so much for taking time out on a Sunday to join us. Thank you for having me, Bob. I'm excited to see you and hear your voice. Good to see you too, my friend. So Epiphany Now is all about sharing good news. And I know that, you know, with origami, you're all about good news because you're helping people every single day, which is the best news ever. But for people who aren't familiar with what origami is, can you tell us a little bit about origami? Absolutely. So Origami started providing services in 1997. We are a nonprofit organization and we provide outpatient, residential, and community-based services to individuals with neurological dysfunction, which means we serve people with traumatic brain injuries, stroke, spinal cord injury, uh, multiple sclerosis, anything neurological that's in our, our area of expertise. We are, um, we provide comprehensive rehab. So any service that you would need for rehabilitation, origami provides it from OT, PT, speech language, pathology, psychology, vocational, recreational, um, you name it, we provide it. We serve about 600 individuals a year, um, many around the mid Michigan area and some beyond, some from out of state even. Uh, but our mission, Bob, is to create opportunities and transform lives. And we get to do that every single day. Tammy, we're so excited about what you do because you really do help people. Um, during the COVID or the coronavirus epidemic that's happening worldwide, uh, we see a lot of medical facilities and a lot of rehab and nursing homes in need of of a lot. And so I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about your need, but then also stress how the community has stepped forward to help you. Because I know that we talked off camera and there's a lot of good things happening as well. Your mission with Epiphany Now and your, your message, uh, I wanna stress the fact that this is a time, certainly we're in a crisis and we have a lot of uncharted territory, a lot of uncertainty, but it's a time too to step back and really pause, be present and be grateful for what we do have. And I do this daily right now. I think it's a, a good mental kind of practice of making sure you're paying attention to the acts of kindness that surround us. You know, from Origami's team of just, it's amazing how many helpers come out in the state of crisis and really making sure that we are taking good care of the people we're responsible for, our residents, and taking care of each other and having concern for our, each other. But community members that we've never met before calling us up and asking us, you know, hey, we can make homemade masks. Do you have a need? Or we can make homemade gowns for you since everybody knows there's a huge shortage of protective equipment and it's a huge priority origami to make sure our employees are well equipped. And so I've just been blown away. We've had care packages delivered to our employees, thanking them for their hard work and their frontline efforts and caring for our residents. So it, it surrounds us. As far as a need, Bob, you know, I would say the, the continued support like that and thinking about how you can contribute to the greater whole and how you can really help this cause we need PPE. We need protective equipment like everybody else. And so um, if anybody has any leads in that regard, that continues to be a need. Even emails and um, following us and engaging with us on social media through this time is a huge source of support. It, it's like oh. uh, it fuels our effort, right? It, it, it fuels the connection that we really want and strive for with our community. So you have a Facebook page and do you have a Twitter and an Instagram too? Or how can people do All that? All of it. Okay. <laughs> and LinkedIn. Yes. Yep. For origami, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tammy, your residents, are they able to get see guests right now or how is that working? Bob, I think that's one of the hardest things that we struggle with right now because we have restrictions obviously to protect everybody. And the restrictions are there's no, but no guests coming onto campus. It's employees only who are screened before they start their, their shift. Um, and so we are the family for our residents right now. We are the individuals that are caring for them and making sure they their needs are met. Um, we're trying to be as creative as possible with vir virtual visits with their family and phone calls and encouraging um, whatever interaction we can do virtually. 
but we can't um, accept visitors onto campus right now for, for obvious reasons. Yeah. How do people get in touch with you, Tammy, if they want to learn more? Is there something that they should, you know, is there a phone number or a website? I definitely encourage people to go to our website. We have a lot of information on our website and easy contact us. It's origamirehab.org. Certainly, they can also call our phone number 336-6060. Um, any way they want to reach out through any of our social media platforms, too, those are monitored regularly right now. I love the fact that you said, you know, just that support on social media, that does something for all your staff there and probably the patients, too. Absolutely, it does. Hey, thank you so much for taking time out. Uh, Tammy, I know Origami and the good work you do, and I'm so proud of everything that you guys do. Keep up the good work, okay? Thank you so much. And you keep spread spreading all these acts of kindness. This is great. All right, my friend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Talk with you later, Bob. Bye-bye. Hang on, Tammy. Can you hear me? I can. Okay. The stream is...